Hall. The beginning of the new year, somethingdelightful.com had a sale. You have to take advantage of the sales. Patterns can be so expensive. A Vogue pattern can easily be $25 or more. So when you can get them on sale, that's the way to do it. So I'm gonna show you what I picked up. When I go and purchase a bunch of patterns, a lot of them I already know what I'm going to do with, and then I'll have a couple that I'm just buying to have in the stash for someday because the price is so good. So let's start with Vogue because this is one that I bought for the stash. I don't know if I'll do it anytime soon. Um, I buy a lot of the Tom and Linda Platt patterns. I just like their design. Um, and this is normally a $35 pattern. I got it for $4.99. This is Vogue 1565. I don't know when I, when I will be sewing this. It's one that I'll just have in my stash for some day. I got it because of this interesting statement sleeve, which is actually a cape sleeve. It's open in the underarm and comes together at the cuff. So it's sort of like a sleeveless dress with a cape sleeve over it that attaches with the cuff. Super interesting, love the design. So. That's this one. The other Vogue pattern that I got is this one, Vogue 1838. It's a vintage um, reproduction. It's one that they put back in and I love a cape. I just do, I have a cape that I actually wear all the time. So this is um, the cape version. It comes with and without a collar. It has a beautiful, um, one of the options is beautiful slits up the front. Um, the other one's just a little short capelet. It has shoulder darts all of the things so another one to keep in my stash for someday and i just love the vintage look while we're talking vintage i got a couple others i got this butterick um 5209 and this one this right here is very similar to what i wore as my going away dress when i got married and it was in um i already had it in a lavender eyelet lace that was so cute and then for the wedding i made it in a white crepe with a little bolero jacket over it for my going away dress and that's what it made me think of when i saw it so it has halter version and then the other version it actually has where the halter would be is filled in in the back which is probably the version i'm going to do for me as um, no longer a 21 tiny little person but as a grown adult not sure i want the backless look um, but it's a really cute pattern and it'll be very flattering and this is one that I'm sure I will be making come summertime. And if you are doing this one, this is zipper in the back, um, is how this one is done, or in the side, actually. Now that I look at it, it has to be in the side because the whole shoulder area doesn't have a seam. So it's gonna have to be zipper in the side, maybe. Cute. The other vintage pattern that I got is this butter. Um, 6242. When I say vintage, it's a vintage reproduction. It's a retro pattern that they've brought back. And this one also has a side zimmer, zipper. It has sort of a ruched um, waistband, full skirt, and straight. It's really the same bodice with a different skirt. Um, so 60s. Isn't that cute? If I had the figure, I would so do this. Very Mary Tyler Moore, I think. Um, but this is also really attractive. Um, so. I love it, probably will be making it just because I want to see how it fits and looks. I think it's kind of fun. Um, these also, all of these, but the ones that aren't Vogue, I got all of those, I believe for $2.99 or $3.99. So very good deals on all of these. Another one I don't have fabric for, but I'm in love with. I have another skirt sort of like this that I made in a um, blue, blue chalet with a teeny tiny print and it just hangs so pretty. It's just such an attractive sort of tango. It's cut weird, it has interesting grain lines and this one's similar. Um, I really like this one with the slit in the front. This is Butterick 6818. They're both beautiful and it has, this has an asymmetrical yoked top with um, a flounce and this one is a split flounce and the other one isn't, but it's asymmetrical and it's just, it'll hang pretty. Do you dance? This would be a great one to uh, dance in if you like to dance. Either way, you're gonna look really pretty just walking with this floaty skirt. So still have the fabric for it, but I really am excited to make it. I did order fabric for this one, McCall's 79.93. This has um, a banded option and a not banded option. And when I saw this, it reminded me of a picture I have of me and my mom together. And we're both wearing something sort of like this and it was in like late eighties, <laughs> maybe not, more like mid eighties. I think it was maybe 13 in the picture. But again, big oversized sweater, big cowl, big sleeve, interesting cuff. Um, I think it's a black and white picture. I'll have to, if I find it, 
I'm gonna put it in here. Um, if I, I get permission from my mom, make sure she doesn't mind. But I'll put our picture in um, of it. And I have, I'm pretty sure I've ordered fabric for this. I'm not going to do the one that has the band at the bottom because it's just not flattering for me. I'm gonna have a more straight one. And then I like both sleeves, but I'll probably do the long sleeve because I just think it's interesting. Statement sleeves everywhere. I love the sleeves. Another one that I have fabric for already is this McCall's 8241. Got it on Etsy, cannot wait to show it to you. Um, definitely going to be sewing this in the next day or two, so it will be up. It may be even come up before this pattern haul comes up. This is a poncho with a sleeve. So it's big and wide and square and flat. I'm gonna try to get it so you can see it, but I don't know if you can. But it's just a big square with a little sleeve on it. And I think it's gonna hang and drape. So neat, so I'm very excited to try that one. There's another one that I have fabric for right now in the other room. Um, and I have a shirt very similar to this already. It's so flattering, I can throw it on. It looks dressy, it looks great with a pair of pants, it looks great with a skirt. So I'm going to make this again. I'm probably going to do, um, I know I won't be doing this. I just don't like this little floof in the front for me. So I'll probably be doing um, either B, C or D any of those. The sleeve for A is nice, but I probably would stick, I like sleeve B a lot, but I also like the peplum that's on um, view D, the peplum and the sleeve on view D, so we'll see on which one I'm going to do, but I do have fabric for that already. Can't wait. And did I say it? Butterick 6628. And then I got this one, McCall's 8160, which is the one I'm getting ready to sew tomorrow morning. This one's going to get sewn up. Um, which means I have fabric for it. I've actually been waiting and waiting for this pattern to get here because I've had the fabric for a while. And this is a super simple, um, just like a little t-shirt dress or a, a long t-shirt. It has shorts, it has pants, and it has a short t-shirt. So it has like a whole little wardrobe in one. The pants are not shown in the front, but it's shown on the back. Um, so very simple, McCall's 8160. And quick little capsule wardrobe right here. Um, to put together. I don't know if I'll be making the other pieces. I really bought it specifically for this just because I want a simple, easy, drapey, little long top or short dress, um, depending on how you want to wear it. So I'm excited to make this. It's going to be super, super cute. Okay, so that's my pattern haul. Pretty straightforward. I got, got nine patterns for $44. That included shipping and tax and everything. So that's great because that's really maybe the price of two to three patterns um, when they're not on a big sale like this. And I'm very excited to try. Almost all of these are I have plans for, have fabric for, or have them in my, um, my calendar for coming up. I'm looking forward to having um, even more fun, cute things. I'm gonna have to start calling my wardrobe. One thing about sewing with you guys every week is that my wardrobe is growing by things that I like. I'm, I'm wearing more and more of the clothes I make, which I always have. If I make a garment, it's always the better garment. If I buy a garment, it's usually not nearly as nice as what I've, what I've sewn. And I'm finding that I don't want to wear the junk clothes that you could be fast fashion. I would much rather wear my bespoke fashion. And I need to start calling my wardrobe. That may be coming up pretty soon, but I have so many other irons in the fire, as they say. I have a lot going on in the background. So we'll see, but I need to, um, clean out my closet. <laughs> Straight up, I just need to toss out all the junk clothes. And because when I'm making cute things like this that I can just throw on and wear and it's 10 times cuter than any t-shirt I own, that's what I would rather do. I look forward to sewing up a lot of these with you coming up uh, over the next year. And I'm sure I'll have another pattern haul because whenever a good pattern sale comes, that's how I do it. I do my best to purchase my patterns and my fabrics when they're on sale so that I can stretch my sewing budget as far as possible um, so we can continue to sew together. So I'll see you next week for another fun video.